Right, so here we are with our panel in our line based component. Now we're going to take it into a door family. So we're using the metric door family template. Then we'll go to an elevation view and get rid of the detail symbolic lines. Those will come in with the panels themselves. Like before, we'll bring in the shared parameters. Remember they're common to the panel as well as to the line based component. And this time we'll bring them in as type parameters. So if we'd like to manage our door family per type, then we're most welcome to do that. And then we'll repeat that for the other parameters. Making sure that they type. So again, it takes a little while, but well worth your effort. Again, we'll just move that up to the constraints category. Check everything if we're happy with that. make sure that the line based component is shared so we can drive the parameters from within the containing family in this case a door we'll load that into our project place it on a work plane I still want to model a frame so I'm just placing it on the side here and you can see it's behaving as I expect so of course we'd like to map the instance parameters for that line based component onto the type parameters of our door family it out of the way in the uh, elevation view next I'm going to focus on creating a frame for these door opening that so will make the frame about 75 of course you can also drive that frame using a parametric constraint I'm not going to go that far in this tutorial 
So I'll just assign 75 distance for that frame lock the dimensions. The center line of the wall is where I want to place the uh, extrusion. I'll name that center line reference plan center front or back. We'll set our working plan. You can see because it's been named it's easy to select. <coughs> and next we'll create the profile for the extrusion. And trim the lines to corners. Now previously what I would have done is just lock that profile definition onto geometry. The Trevor is kind of intuitive in this sense. If you draw it on the geometry, it tends to follow anyway. If you wanted to make absolutely sure, then you would lock those lines in place. So because I'm in the center of the door, I also want to center the frame. I'm going to create two new parameters. Minus the frame width divided by two, and positive the frame width divided by two. Here I'll fill in the values for the type parameters pretty much as they are for the existing panel. That way the parameters will map easily. Sometimes if you have zero there, the parameters don't wouldn't like to map because the geometry is then not properly constrained. So now we'll create the, we'll see that parameter there, wouldn't be required. So if we don't need a parameter within a, a file, uh, we can get within a door that contains these nested families. We don't have to have all of those. We don't have to drive all of the parameters from within our container file. We can delete those that are not applicable. So here we are creating the panel width divided by 2 as a parameter, a type parameter, and we'll have the negative of that next. While well, rivets equation editor is not as great as what it could be. A lot of other packages has aliases so one could give very short descriptions for the parameters and then a proper description next to that. At least it does allow one to name these parameters with logical operators in this case a negative value helps one to describe what is going on. Right, so there is the frame for our panels. We set the material parameter. We'll make the host element, in this case a wall. Remember it's the door family has a host. The door family template already has a host in it. 
in this case it's only allowing me to modify the left hand side of the host <coughs> It's behaving a little bit differently to what a wall would within a project. And again, we'll change the dimensions to something that would approximate reality it gives us a good visual feedback of what we are doing the line based confab uh <coughs> the line based family is behaving correctly Let's flex that family a little bit, see how it's behaving, align the line based component to the reference planes and lock them. And there you can see how flexing a family gives you a good visual cue on what you might still need to do with that family. Next we'll map the instance parameters of the line based component which because this is a three tiered nested family also denote the parameters for the panel it's easy to relate them because we've used shared parameters from a shared parameter file and they are common to all three families within the final container family we are treating them as type parameters but within the panel and within the line based component families we are treating them as instance parameters we'll save our family and then we also set the material properties which we can set from our type parameters from our door family they should apply if everything was done correctly they should apply as well to the panel families so let's see how that works I like having the material browser nice and large it's quite tricky to work with if it's small so we've got some white oak material and let's see how this is doing realistic view the frame has taken the material but the panels haven't so clearly somewhere within my nesting process there is a lack of execution so let's see that we can fix this We are loading the door now finally into a project and hosting it in a wall. This will be the proof of the pudding so clearly we already know that the panels don't have the correct material. If we click on the door family and edit it we can see the materials are correctly applied so the next step would be to go to the nested family in this case unfortunately it's not the nested family it's the actual array
Base component, we'll tab to the panel and edit the panel family. And now let's go and see. Here, was that material mapped? Yes, it's mapped to the correct parameter. We'll load that family back into the line based component. edit the group to get at the panel and there we see aha we haven't yet mapped the material parameters so you have to get at them through the group remember the panels were grouped and arrayed and that is why we have to go into the definition of the panel There we go, now the material is correctly mapped onto the panel elements as well. And you can control this by family type because we've got them as a type parameter. Were you to want a aluminium material, then you can create an aluminium type door. And the way in which you set this up is completely up to you. Again, we'll see how flexing the family is important we'll see there that the panel is not adjusting to the height and so again we'll fix that by opening up the nested families This we'll fix through the parameter. And we'll give it the value of the door height minus the thickness of the frame, which in this case is 75. Like I mentioned initially, we could have made that parametric, but in this case, we'll just set that as a given value. Let's save this back into the project. And now we can see it is behaving correctly, parametrically, like we require and expect and changing the door panels also has the desired effect.